today was a good day. Um, took the uh, Rance S12 with the Viking 90 and kind of wanted to just finalize the envelope of uh, flight testing. So even though this is just kind of an ultralight, really, it's a two-seat ultralight. It's a very small airplane. Um, came out or originally with a 503 Rotex, so you can see it's definitely in the ultralight category, even though it doesn't meet the the 200 pound empty weight thing. Um, but I uh, wanted to see what it could do with the Viking 90 as far as altitude, uh, just to see uh, the climb, uh, see what I could get to as far as altitude, uh, do a recording of the air fuel mixture of the engine at altitude and all that. So uh, yeah, this first clip is uh, basically departing in, in from uh, Mass Air Ranch in Florida. It had 70 degrees here today. And then as the temperature decreased, uh, got up to the uh, max altitude, it was 26 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, very, very, very cold at the top of the climb. <laughs> Trying to make it as realistic as possible, the engine is uh, not really set up for maximum output. Like if this was a rogue tax, it would be pitched to 5,800 for climb. Um, but, you know, just because the customer that's going to end up with this plane, they're going to like a little bit of climb, a little bit of cruise. So pitched it so we get 54, 54, 50, something like that in climb. And of course, it's going to drop off as we get further uh, up, in the, up in the air. Starting out with a good climb. Uh, eight to nine hundred feet a minute, and then it's going to taper off as we go. <laughs> Going through seven thousand feet, and <laughs> and as you can see, the climb rate has uh, decreased already, but we're still doing good. What you just saw was uh, climbing through 11,000 feet, so we're getting up there. It's getting colder. Uh, I uh, basically um, started zipping up all the zippers on my suit, closed any buttons, put a face mask on, and just kept climbing. Uh, at this point, air fuel ratio was still perfect, 13.5, uh, 13.6, which is just about right at that altitude at full power. Uh, RPM was still up there, coolant is running just perfect uh, on, on thermostat, and the uh, climb rate was still uh, right about 200 feet a minute at 11,000. Okay, so a clip is showing us uh, flying or me uh, climbing through uh, 12,000 feet. Uh, didn't have any gloves on. Uh, had to kind of wrap my suit around my fingers. But no such luck on the camera hand or my iPhone is basically what I'm using. That's why I have to talk in between these clips because I don't have the fancy stuff where I could like record on a GoPro and stuff. Maybe one day when we get wealthy at doing uh, auto conversions we can get stuff like that. Uh, I know Zenit has that. Uh, but in any case, we're going through 12,000 feet, and uh, so, you know, it didn't really slow off the climb. Not spectacular, but a solid 200 feet a minute, you know, at 12,000. So I decided, get this video and just keep climbing. And I, I did eventually end up at 14. Uh, it was still climbing at almost 200 feet a minute. Uh, all the parameters were good, but it just time to pull the power and come back down because <laughs> I was kind of shivering and no video up at 14,000 but that was the that was the top of the climb was 14,000 and in a flying lawn chair yeah that's um, it was time to come back down.